kids! Welcome to our online class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Week 7, Quarter 2. Our lesson for today is about illustrates the following properties of multiplication. Kids, are you ready to learn? Let's get started! Most Essential Learning Competencies Illustrates and writes a related equation for each type of multiplication. Repeated addition, array counting by multiples, and equal jumps on the number line. Let's study the properties of multiplication. What are the properties of multiplication? The properties of multiplication are Identity property of multiplication Zero property of multiplication and Commutative property of multiplication What is identity property of multiplication? Identity property of multiplication is multiplying a number by 1 will give a product that is the same number. Examples 5 times 1 equals 5 8 times 1 equals 8 1 times 15 equals 15 1 times 24 equals 24 32 times 1 equals 32 1 times 17 equals 17 Any number is multiplied by 1, the product is still the same number. What is zero property of multiplication? Zero property of multiplication is multiplying a number by zero is equal to zero. Examples 4 times 0 equals 0 7 times 0 equals 0 0 times 18 equals 0 0 times 21 equals 0 54 times 0 equals 0 0 times 65 equals 0 Any number is multiplied by 0 the product is zero. What is commutative property of multiplication? Commutative property of multiplication is changing the order of the factors does not change the product. Examples 5 times 2 equals 10 or 2 times 5 equals 10. 4 times 6 equals 24 or 6 times 4 equals 24 7 times 3 equals 21 or 3 times 7 equals 21 Changing the order of the factors doesn't change the product Let's try to answer the following problems Rain has three cakes. Each cake has one candle. How many candles are there in all? Can you count the number of cakes? How many cakes do you see? Correct! Rain has three cakes. How many candles in each cake? Correct! There is only one candle in each cake. If we multiply, 3 times 1, the answer is 3. 3 are the number of candles in all. Therefore, there are 3 candles in all. 3 times 1 equals 3 is identity property of multiplication. Let's see another example. Can you count the number of cakes? Correct! The number of cakes are 3. Can you count the number of candles in each cake? Correct! There is no candle in each cake. So the cake has 0 candle. If we multiply 3 times 0, 
The answer is zero. The number of candles in all is zero. There are no candles in the cake. 3 times 0 equals 0 is 0 property of multiplication. Let's read another problem. Russell has two pencil cases. Each pencil case has three pencils. How many pencils does he have in all? Let's see. So the number of pencil case are 2. The number of pencils in each case are 3. So 2 times 3 equals 6. Therefore, Russell has 6 pencils in all. Roxanne has also 3 pencil cases. Each pencil case has 2 pencils. How many pencils does she have in all? Let's see. The number of pencil cases of Roxanne are 3. The number of pencils in each case are 2. So 3 times 2 equals 6. Therefore, Roxanne has also 6 pencils. Russell and Roxanne have the same number of pencils because 2 times 3 equals 6 and 3 times 2 equals 6 have also the same product. Changing the order of the factors does not change the product. This is the commutative property of multiplication. Let's practice. Identify if the property of multiplication is identity property, zero property, or commutative property. Kids, are you ready? Let's start! What property of multiplication is 1 times 10 equals 10? Correct! This is identity property. What property of multiplication is 0 times 15 equals 0? Correct! This is 0 property. What property of multiplication is 6 times 3 equals 3 times 6? Correct! This is commutative property. What property of multiplication is 5 times 0 equals 0? Correct! This is 0 property. What property of multiplication is 27 times 1 equals 27. Correct! This is identity property. What property of multiplication is 21 times 2 equals 2 times 21? Correct! This is commutative property. Now, can you identify the property of multiplication used in each of the following? Write I for identity property, Z for zero property, and C for commutative property. Number 1. 1 times 8 equals 8. Number 2, 9 times 0 equals 0. Number 3, 3 times 4 equals 4 times 3. Number 4, 5 times 1 equals 5. Number 5, 0 times 7 equals 0. Number 6, 
1 times 6 equals 6. Number 7. 6 times 0 equals 0. Number 8. 5 times 2 equals 2 times 5. Number 9. 9 times 1 equals 9. And number 10, 6 times 4 equals 4 times 6. Next activity, write the missing number to make each statement correct. Number 1, blank times 6 equals 6. Number 2, 0 times 8 equals blank. Number 3, 7 times 2 equals blank times 7. Number 4. Blank times 9 equals 9. Number 5. 5 times blank equals 5. Number 6. 26 times 0 equals blank. Number 7. 8 times blank equals 3 times 8. Number 8. 9 times 3 equals blank times 9. Number 9. Blank times 1 equals 42. And number 10. Blank times 57 equals 0. So kids, that is the end of our lesson. So again, our lesson is about the properties of multiplication. Did you enjoy this lesson? Very good! So kids, again, what is our topic today? Correct! It's about illustrates the following properties of multiplication. Kids, I hope you have learned a lot of this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!